Today we get some huge updates as Nick Nurse provides insight on Joel Embiid, maybe a positive sign as to when we could see him back. Also, Robert Covington. Yes, Rocco is alive. We'll take a look at some footage and a whole bunch more coming up. Perfect. What is up, everybody? Welcome into Philly Take with RB. I am RB Philly Take. Do me a favor, hit the like button if you do enjoy these videos, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the coverage. We started off on a question of the day, like always. I want to know from Sixer fans, do you think they can get this W against the Miami Heat tonight? This just coming in a little while ago. Shout out to Sam D. Giovanni reporting that Tobias Harris did not participate again in the morning shoot around. And he is listed as questionable for tonight's game with a right ankle sprain. He missed the game a couple nights ago. Doesn't look like he's going to play again. So the Sixers will probably be without Tobias. And they are starting off a huge week. They're going out in the West Coast. But tonight, they will play Miami at home. Miami coming off a big buzzer beater. The Sixers absolutely need to keep stacking up wins. They, you know, roughed it out a couple nights ago. But they need wins. And this honestly could go back and forth especially with Miami in the standings right now. So they need this win tonight. Do you think they can get it? I actually will be at the game. So shout out to uh, JJ. He'll be filling in tonight on the show. But I'm going to be there, man, watching live and close. Hopefully Tyrese Maxey is able to put forward another big effort as he did a couple days ago. And uh, I'm excited to see what this team can do. Can they build off that win? You know, let's, let's take a look at the standings real quick. Right now, the 76ers are sitting... In the number 7-8 seed, they are tied with Miami. So this game right now tonight will determine who moves up and who moves down. And, you know, we're, we're, getting at, we're, we're getting to the point where there's not that many games left, you know. So you slip up on a few, might be hard to, like, recover your ground. You know, look at this week coming up. Miami, Phoenix, Lakers, Clippers. Then you got the Kings, Clippers, Cavs, Raptors, OKC. It's not getting any easier. They need to stack up some wins. And tonight is a very, very big test. Now, speaking of a big test, we need to talk about Joel Embiid and the test of whether he can actually get back on the court and return. Because again, we know that this team will be doomed if Joel Embiid does not play. But we have some positive updates. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Nurse finally talked about Joel Embiid. He gave a slight update last week. But yesterday, after practice, Nick Nurse says, that Joel Embiid did participate in some non-contact portions of practice today. So he's there, he's uplifted, he's in good spirits. Nick Nurse says that he's currently lifting weights, but still no timeline. So again, the way that I believe this will play out is Joel Embiid will probably come back with like two, three, maybe four games left in the season if he can. Try to get his legs under him, probably play like 10 minutes or something. And then they're going to go probably blind into the playoffs, hoping that he can play. It's just, it's not an optimal situation. And if he's not 100%, I would not play him, just to be clear. But it all depends on how Embiid's feeling. I mean, we saw him on the bench the other night. He was smiling. He was eating an orange. Like, guy actually looks to be in shape. It looks like he's keeping up, you know, however he can uh, with some conditioning. You know, maybe just like doing little mini workouts. But seems to be in good spirits. And Signs point to him trying to really, really come back for this team, and at least that's a good update. Nick Nurse, you know, spreading some light here. And also, uh, Nico Batum commented on Joel Embiid yesterday. He says, quote, yes, he practiced. He looked good. He lifted. I don't know when he's coming back. I hope soon. So, feels like it's kind of just going around the building, and guys are, you know, just keeping quiet, keeping to themselves. Nobody really knows what's going on. The only guy that can determine whether he wants to come back. And the guy that should make the final decision is Joel Embiid, not those medical trainers who, you know, let him go out a couple months ago and then he got injured even more. So we'll see if uh, Joel Embiid can actually make this comeback. If he does, man, I mean, either way, you got to applaud him for his consistency and his persistence of really, you know, trying to put in the work to come back. It's just a really unfortunate timing of an injury. And uh, shout out to Jacob Moreno posting this clip on Twitter or reposting it from the Sixers page. But here was Joel Embiid after the game on Saturday. And like I said, he was in good spirits. He was hanging out on the bench with his teammates. But look at this. This is after the game. Hey, I know he's not getting too much lift, but look at that. 
pulling a three ball. Yo, you let Joel come back. It is over, man. It is over. By the way, Joel Embiid just turned 30. That's kind of daunting, isn't it? He just turned 30 years old on Saturday. I don't know, man. It's 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 getting scary. We need you healthy, Joe. We need you healthy, Joe. So let's hope he can come back. And, you know, again, positive update from Nick Nurse. Hopefully he starts to integrate himself in a, you know, maybe a smaller portion of practice going forward. And, you know, maybe he can come back in a couple weeks. Hopefully the Sixers can stay afloat, though. If they lose their next seven games, not really looking too positive. Now, one other guy who has been an absolute ghost may actually return, and I can't believe it. We'll talk about that in just a second, but before we dive back into it, I got to let you know today's video is sponsored by Mando. Mando is one of the best deodorants that I have ever tried, maybe even the best, and right now, new customers can get $5 off their starter pack by using my code PhillyTake over on shopmando.com. This deodorant is incredible. It was created by a doctor who actually comes from the founders of Lumi Deodorant. And that doctor saw how normal body odor was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. And for someone like me who's actually had personal issues trying to find the right deodorant over the years, this solved a huge problem for me. You always get those deodorants and they say, you know, it'll completely prevent sweat and odor or it'll last all day, et cetera, et cetera. They don't ever live up to the promise. This product right here, after using it for a couple weeks, has lived up to the promise. It is very soothing. It smells great. Just a very well put together product. This is clinically proven to control odor better than taking a shower with soap by itself. They did testing. They found that after 12 hours of taking a shower, the average man's odor level was a five out of 10. But when people use this product 12 hours after the shower, the odor level was zero out of 10. The Mount Fuji one is my absolute favorite. It smells incredible. And also, when it comes to the body wash, the bourbon leather is very, very good. I love the way these smell. And the best part about the deodorant is that you can not only use it on the pits, but everywhere, the skin, the back, even the package, the feet, anywhere this deodorant works, it is incredible. Go ahead and check out the Mando Starter Pack. It's perfect for any new customers. And it comes with a solid stick deodorant like this, a cream tube deodorant, as well as two free products like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, as well as free shipping. And once again, new customers can get $5 off of the starter pack by using my code PhillyTake. Go on over to shopmando.com. Use the code PhillyTake at shopmando.com. All right, let's jump back into it. So, Joel and B. Hopefully can come back. But what about Robert Covington? Does anybody remember that he's actually on his team? Anybody remember Robert Covington? Here he is getting some shots up after practice. That's right. He's actually on the court. Robert Covington is on the court. I can't believe it. I thought he turned into Casper the Holy Ghost. Now, DeAnthony Melton, that's a different story. I don't think Melton's coming back. They keep saying, you know, he's having... The re-aggravating back issues. He came back for the one game and then he was out again. Very unfortunate for a guy who I thought had a decent start to the year. But Robert Covington, after being traded from the Clippers, like he was playing some stellar defense. He was really that spark plug off the bench when it came to getting a big stop. And he kind of, you know, almost got to the point where he wasn't playing a lot, which I didn't understand. But this team needs his defense 100%. They are struggling to defend guards on the perimeter. And Robert Covington could really help change that dynamic. Like I said, here he is getting some shots up. And we got an update from Nick Nurse as well yesterday. He says that Robert Covington took a good step forward. Hopefully, it'll keep going forward. A couple months ago, when Nick Nurse came out and said that there was no light at the end of the tunnel, that was one of the craziest quotes I'd ever heard in regards to an injury about a player. But Nick Nurse came out and he finally gave a positive update on Robert Covington so hopefully we will get him back if the Sixers can get him back in the next couple weeks get his feet under him get his conditioning up etc and they can have another guy to go out there and defend the wing that is what they need and and that would really give this team a boost so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out but if the Sixers can just get a little healthy at the right time because it feels like all the injuries come at the wrong time if they can get a little bit healthy at the right time you know, maybe this team could make some noise. But obviously, it all starts with Joel Embiid. We'll have to monitor the situation and see how it plays out. That being said, give me all your thoughts down below. Do you think the Sixers can stay afloat? Can they get a big win tonight? Give me all your thoughts. Appreciate everybody tuning in. 
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.